Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Read Along with Grandma Sherry. I hope you are doing well today. The story we will be reading is called Escargot. It is written by Dashka Slater and illustrated by Sidney Hansen. Bonjour. I see you are staring at me. I don't mind. My name is Escargot, and I am such a beautiful French snail that everybody stares at me. Right now, I am traveling to the salad at the end of this book. It is a beautiful salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette. You should come. I just need a little push to help me start. While we are traveling, we can talk. Tell me, what do you think is my most beautiful part? My shell? My neck? My tentacles? Ooh la la, it is so hard to choose. That is because all of escargot is magnifique. You can kiss me if you want. Let's talk about our favorite animals. Is yours the dog, the cat, the platypus, the wildebeest, the lemur, the hippopotamus, the snail? Wait, before you answer, I must tell you something sad. So sad I might cry. Will you stroke my shell just until I feel better? Okay, now I will tell you the very sad thing. Nobody ever says their favorite animal is the snail. Perhaps you think snails are slimy, Escargot. You are too slimy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire. The trails I make as I travel to the salad are shimmery trails of... What would you call it? Not slime. More like shimmery trails of... Shimmery stuff. But enough about me. Do you also make a shimmery trail? What is your favorite kind of salad? You look like the kind of intelligent person who enjoys a salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette. And absolutely no carrots. The kind of person who might say, my favorite animal is a snail. But perhaps you think snails are shy, escargot. You are too shy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire, I am quite fierce. This is the face I make to scare a lion, or a wild boar, or a carrot that sneaks into my salad. Can you also make a fierce face to scare away the carrot? Maybe we should roar at it, too. That was a very fierce face and a very loud roar. Do you want me to come out? Really? Then you must say, come out, Escargo. Come out, and I promise I will never put a carrot in your salad. Come out, and I will kiss you. Here I am. Don't forget my kiss. I kiss you back. Mwah. Am I your favorite animal yet? Perhaps you think, snails are slow, escargot. You are too slow to be my favorite animal. Au contraire. I just don't like to hurry. A French snail likes to relax before enjoying a salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. But if I wanted to, I could run faster than the cheetah. You don't believe me? I will race you to the salad at the end of the book. Whoever gets there first will be the fantastically fast champion of the world and also your favorite animal. On your mark, get set, go! Do you see how fast I am? I am like the wind itself. I just need to rest for one second. Can you blow on me to cool me off? Okay, I am ready now for the final sprint. I win. Oh, you are here too. 
a tie. We are both the champions. We are both magnifique. Let us celebrate by eating salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. Bon appetit. But this is not the right salad. This salad has a few croutons and a light vinaigrette and carrots. Escargot does not eat carrots. Escargot has never eaten a carrot. Escargot will now make a fierce face at the carrot. The carrot is not running away. Perhaps you would like to eat the carrot? Go ahead, try it. I will make you a deal. If you will try it, I will try it too. On the count of three, we will take a very, very, very small bite of the carrot. One, two, three. That carrot was actually delicious. So delicious that I might have forgotten to share. You probably won't choose me as your favorite animal now. You will choose instead the baboon or the koala or the earwig. But that is okay. C'est la vie. I will tell you a secret. You are very beautiful. Even if you don't have a shimmery tail, you are very fast, almost as fast as escargot. And you can make a very fierce face. Don't show me. I remember. You are magnifique. In fact, you are my favorite animal. And so, I kiss you. Moi. And that brings us to the end of Escargot. Written by Dashka Slater and illustrated by Sidney Hansen. I hope you enjoyed that silly tale about this very self-confident snail. I hope you have as much self-confidence as Escargot has. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.